Do you want some quick and simple hacks that are going to save you time using System 1? And maybe even bring a little bit of colour to the platform? I know I do, and by finding these out, they've saved me loads of time. But more importantly, one of them has solved one of my biggest pain points when it comes to using System 1. And it was so good when I figured it out, I almost cried. And if it brings as much value to you as it did to me, then please leave a like below because it lets me know that this content is useful and valuable to you. Anyway, let's get straight to the content. Let's tech enhance your primary care and learning. Shall we begin? Hey, GP learners. So I'm going to show you two hacks that I think will not only save you some time, but maybe add a little bit more color and some joy into your life when it comes to using System 1. Shall we have a look? So first up, we've got adding some color into System 1. And as you can see on my clinical tree, I've got the clinical nodes and some of them are in color. And I find this really useful because it means I can find the relevant parts of the sections I want really quickly and easily. And as I said, it's nice and colorful. So I've got a couple that I've got uh, selected here. So we've got the tab journal, as you can see in green. We've got repeat templates in blue, which I also have the same color for sensitivity and allergies. And that's just in my head. It works for me to kind of remember to check both of those whenever I'm doing prescribing. If I want to, I've got medications as well. I can have a look at communications letters, um, record attachments, which I've found I've been going into a lot more since we've started using Actrix and that kind of stuff. And then we've also got the med threes, which for some reason, I always struggle to find the med three note. I, I don't know why it just it's one of those ones I can never really find. And then further down, I've got safeguarding as well. And I've got that highlighted in red so I can find it quickly and easily. And having them in different colors in my head just works. Now, you can set whatever colors you want. You can have them however you want. And it, you can do it individually. You don't have to have the same as you'd have with everybody else in the practice. You could, if you want to, have the same nodes within practice. But it doesn't really matter because it's individual to each user. So I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. But before I do that, I also want to show you another little hack. So with all the different nodes and things, there are some times when you just want to get to particular parts and it doesn't work the way you want to. You just you struggle to find the bits. So color coding is nice. But what if you want to get to parts even quicker? What am I talking about? Well, there's a couple of nodes on the clinical tree that I like to get to really quickly. Um, and uh, well, let's show you, shall we? So if I was to press control and one, that will take me straight to what's called our EPAX template. So for us, this is what we use for documenting palliative care, health, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it is nice to just click and find it. Because as you can see, if I look on the node, it's buried into our Wellspring templates, a bit further down and, and things there. So that just makes it a bit trickier to find. But by doing that, I can get to it really quickly. The other one I've got, so if I press Control and 3 on mine, I can get straight to the groups and families. And this is useful when I'm doing some safeguarding checks or if I'm looking for relatives of patients or next of kin details. This is where sometimes we find it stored, whether it's been stored by other people or, or that kind of thing. But this is the big one. So uh, often we have things like look at task to find out information, but it's not tasks that are live because they're not available on the home screen for the patient. So, you know, they're not here where you'd want them to be and that kind of stuff. So you have to go into administrative to find them. And then from there, you have to click onto tasks and it just takes longer and it's clicking. and It's, it's annoying. So how can you change that? Well, what's this? click of a button and I'm straight there and get to them and I can find all the historic tasks and see what the information is there. Keyboard shortcuts, they're amazing, aren't they? And definitely check out my other video that shows you other cool keyboard shortcuts. But this one is awesome. I love it. Really, really, really love it. So how do you create them? Well, the reason why I'm talking about both these hacks together is because you access them in exactly the same way. So the easiest way I found is if you just right click on the clinical tray, so as you can see right here, we've got the tree configuration tab. So click on that and it opens up these options. So you've got tree colors, first of all, and you can see the ones I've selected. So if you want to change one of those, simply you right click on the one that you want to change, select color, and there you can see you've got a host of different colors. You can pick and choose whichever ones you want and then just select them and click OK. Now, if you do do that, then it's not going to change it instantly on the clinical tree, but it will on the screen. So once you click OK, it's then saved. You can change the configuration if you want, but I don't tend to do much of that. I guess it would be useful for some people to shift things around for the common stuff that you use, but I don't like doing that. And to be honest, you have to be assistant and administrator to do most of that anyway. 
But let's have a look at the shortcuts. So to do that is dead easy. As you can see, you click on the tree shortcuts and then you've got your options of what you want to do. So for mine, I've got control on one as APACs, control on two as tasks, and control on three as groups and relationships. It, it just works in my head for some reason. Um, I think one is primary care, good palliative care. I don't know, T is two and three rounds. With, it's got an R in there. With, I don't know. Anyway, it works in my head. So if you want to change these, simply you just select the one and that you want to change and you click assign shortcut and then you get this node and then you type whatever you want. So if I want to put contraception, for example, I can then find a contraception template. So we had one, where are we? There we go. So I can select that and then click OK. And then from now on, every time I press Control and 4, it's going to take me straight through to the contraception template. And it's done nice and easy and it does work with administrative stuff as well so you can find the, the things on the administrative pane and, and get to that easily and effectively so that was my two quick hacks that i hope will save you time and bring a little bit of color to your life when using system one if you want some more content and some more shortcuts more importantly then definitely check out this video right here that youtube is showing you that gives you all that details and if not youtube should probably suggesting another video right here for you to have a look at and as always egp Learning is here to help save you and your patients time by tech enhancing primary care and learning catch you in the next episode